John from Lake Erie Chestnuts. It's July 5th, 2017. I've talked to you this year about fertilizing a little more and I referred to that chestnut growing publication by the University of Missouri that I published a link to previously and I'll do it again. And right at bud break in the early spring, you want to calculate the fertilizer needs of your chestnuts for the year. And their recommendations is that you give two-thirds of that fertilization amount that you calculate right at bud break and then you give the next and final third right around the times that we have blossom so you won't be able to see from where you're at right there but we have blossoms here and there's you know 50 blossoms on this tree maybe and they're just starting to blossom and that's when they recommend giving that final third amount of the the fertilizer and I've published the calculations before I'm just using a generic fertilizer I picked up from my feed store co-op it's put out by the Anderson's fertilizer and it's 20 10 10 this is because some of the old pastures lack a little bit in the nitrogen department and I'm looking for about 18 to 20 inches of growth per year for the first five or six years then I'll back off of the fertilization and let the nut production kind of guide me but we're really trying to get up above deer browse height which we have and I'm getting growth that I want these to bush out now so that when it comes time for me to mow this entire orchard floor instead of just the rows, that I am able to have branches that don't start until six feet. That way I'll be able to go under them with a tractor and mow very easily the whole entire orchard floor. And when it comes time for nut harvesting, should we invest in machinery rather than people, it'll be very easy to run that without running into branches. So basically, it's the same as you saw in the previous videos. This is gonna be just about a third of a cup. I'm gonna be fertilizing other weeds and things and people commented on this, but as long as I see good top growth in trees that don't look like they're hurting, I'm not gonna introduce herbicides into this. I'm trying to grow this orchard as naturally as possible. I'm gonna feed human beings with these. And while I'm not 100% against herbicides and fertilizers if necessary, that aren't organic, which this is not an organic fertilizer. I'm not gonna do herbicide if I don't have to. It's more work and I don't think that there's an added benefit for that amount of work. So I took a little break. I was fishing in Minnesota with my family, caught some great fish, had a great time with my family. I hope you're enjoying your summer. I'm planning a nice trip out west later this year. Uh, so hopefully you're having a great summer. Hopefully your trees are taking off post some of your pictures as you get a chance onto that page on Facebook Lake Erie Chestnuts make sure you give us a like on YouTube we keep producing these videos and we'll grow chestnuts together thanks a lot for watching